Well, almost started a fire in my fish room, so that happened. What's going on fish nerds? Carlos here. Happy Independence Day. Happy 4th of July to those of you here in the States. For those of you that aren't in the States, I hope you've got the day off anyway. But if not, just know that we are over here taking the day off work, eating a bunch of food, grilling out, hanging out, setting off fireworks. And speaking of fireworks, it is time for me to share something that happened last week that I didn't even want to make a video about. I didn't want to confess this. I didn't want to admit it, but I almost burnt my house down. Almost, well, that might be a little bit over dramatic, but there, it scared me. There was an incident in the fish room that could have, should have been avoided and wasn't avoided. And I'm just gonna tell you the story of how it happened. My wife and I were at work Friday, went to work that morning, decided to come home for lunch instead of actually eating at work or going out to eat, which isn't normal for us, but we decided to come home. So just to walk through what happened, we get home, parked here in the driveway, the car was right here next to my truck. We get home, come in the front door. As we come into the front door, my wife says, What's that smell? It's like, it, sm it smells like something burnt or something. And I couldn't smell it. My, my sense of smell is a little weird. There are certain things that I can't smell at all. There's some things I don't smell well. Other things I smell just fine, but she could smell something, I couldn't smell nothing. And we actually had some guys staying at our house that were in town. I was like, it's probably one of them's cologne or something. She's like, this does not smell like cologne. So she's going all through the house trying to find whatever the smell was. So I come through here into the garage, pardon all the mess, if you will, but as soon as I get in the garage, I can smell it and it's bad. Like it smells like straight up burnt plastic. And I smelled it before I realized that all the tank lights were off. And so I was like, well, I think I found whatever it is. And what turned out to be the problem was the do it, the DIY overflow, the PVC overflow on this tank had lost its siphon and it was no longer overflowing as it should down into this tank. And it was just overflowing out the back of the tank and dripping all down the back of this rack. And where'd I set it? Oh. This was laying on the concrete with all of the lights plugged into it and it was just fried. You can you can see all the around if it'll focus here around all those holes where it's all burnt and nasty around there and you can see it's even like melted and misshapen and just holding it right now it stinks bad but I did not have GFCI outlets or plugs or whatever out here in the fish room and that's why I didn't want to talk about this is because I watched uh, I watched the video that Sergeant Tank did about GFCI and how you need GFCI for everything in your fish room because this kind of thing can happen. And I thought to myself, he's got a really good point. I should probably do that, but I'm not too worried about it. And that's, and, and that's on me because that's just kind of the way I am. I, I will recognize that there's a risk in something and I'll say, yeah, it would probably be best if I mitigate that or, or do this to be safe or whatever. It'll be fine. I have a really bad habit of saying it'll be fine when it probably will be fine, 
But when there's a chance that it won't be fine, and when not fine is really, really bad, you shouldn't take those kind of chances. So, if you don't have GFCI, and I don't yet, I still have to, I still have to get them, uh, get some, some plugs or whatever I need to do to get set up with GFCI out here. Still got to get all that done, but just offering full disclosure now, I didn't, should have, wish I already did, and if you don't, do it. Learn from my mistake. Because I came in here and these are all my, my light plugs here, and I've got this plugged into a timer, as you can see here. But this was actually laying back here behind the tanks on the floor. I've, I do at least have them pulled around here off to the side to where if it happens again, it won't drip on them and I've got them up off the floor. But what I, when I realized it was that power strip that all the lights were plugged into, I just reached around and grabbed one of the cords from one of the lights and just kind of started pulling up to see what it was connected to to see what was burn out and when it started picking this up off the ground it kind of shook it a little bit and the lights actually flickered so power was still going through this thing even though it was burnt out and melting which is really bad and uh, actually when I reached around when I realized what it was doing I thought okay well maybe it just you know surge protector or whatever blew the little fuse and so I, I reached around to just see if I could flip the the switch on it and uh, sorry about that the memory card in my camera got full so I had to switch them out but uh, anyway I, I reached around to see if I could just flip this if that was just the problem if it wasn't actually burnt out because I couldn't really see it good back there and this was stupid do not do this learn from my mistake I could have died I reach around and I try to press this button and it doesn't even press because this thing is just totally burnt out and melted and like this this button won't even move it's just totally fused so but when I reached around and I got a hold of this and I started pushing on it it was still kind of like a little bit wet from where all the water had been running on it and when I pressed on this button is like needles shot all through my thumb like it shocked me but not too bad but it was just like that buzz, kind of like licking a nine volt, but a lot stronger, and it was just in my thumb. So thank God I didn't kill myself playing with this thing. But then when I realized that was the case, I ended up just going down to the end and just unplugged it from, uh, from the timer it was plugged into, which was probably even still stupid. I probably should have turned off the power strip that the timer was plugged into, and I shouldn't be daisy chaining all this stuff anyway. But my electric box is right there. I do plan on getting an electrician to set up designated plug-ins for all of this stuff, GFCI, and we'll be good to go and this won't be so stinking dangerous. Learn from my mistakes. But anyway, so almost electrocuted myself getting this thing turned off, but then after I got it unplugged, I just replaced it and I pulled everything around over here uh, for in the time being until I get a better setup, which I do fully intend on doing and uh, Like all these other things I got them up and out of the way as well So it was kind of a scary situation and just really thankful that uh, It wasn't a lot worse and thankful that you know, it, it was just laying flat on the concrete with nothing touching it to catch on fire. If it had been up against the wood like this, something could have happened. Or if it was up against a box, anything like that. Could have had a fire, could have burnt this rack down. Could have been even worse, could have caught the, the house on fire. Uh, elect electricity, things like this, electrical fires not something to to take lightly so I will be taking steps to remedy this situation to make sure it doesn't happen again 
so yeah that's that's my confession to you guys that I dropped the ball in my own fish room I want to encourage you guys to please learn from my mistake don't leave uh, power strips and things like that laying on the floor behind your tanks things like that get them somewhere where there's not gonna get water all over them and use GFCI use it don't don't just say eh, it'll be fine because on the off chance that it's not fine when it comes to electricity not fine is really bad thank God that we actually came home which wasn't the norm we we don't typically come home on lunch but thank God he worked it out that we that we did on the day that this was happening so I could get it taken care of before things got any worse and that it wasn't any worse so all that to say I goofed up don't you guys goof up all right so this is just kind of a a random bonus midweek video I will still have another video out on Friday so be looking forward to that if you haven't subscribed already do it and hit that little bell notification icon so that YouTube will let you know when that video comes out because it will be coming out and I want to say again to those of you here in the US happy Independence Day God bless your fish nerds God bless the USA I will see you next time